That's super useful. Come on, buddy. Yoink. Come on, we're going up the we're going up the mountain. Look out, Dylan! Here I go! <laughs> Almost ran over the child bird. Uh, why are you just there on this outpost? Like, what are you doing, buddy? Keeping people from going up the mountain? But still, that's gotta be a really boring weird job. Bye bye! Here I go! It is nice that like if you shoot a monster down like that, it just gives you the stuff in your inventory automatically. Yeah. Nice. Especially helpful for the fire bats. Yeah, no, I'll come back! <laughs> Look at him go! Uh, <laughs> the final laws of physics there, but... I mean, he is on the track. It's probably helping to get some momentum. Yeah. No, I meant when he was just flying his way back to me. Okay, yeah, no, there's no excuse for that. Not unless it's some sort of... Oh, no, come back, buddy! No! Eh, he's fine. Unless, He'll just come down from the sky randomly. Not, See? not unless it's, uh, it's like a subset of his stage's powers. Here I go. Oh, no. Come and throw me, me. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. I can do it. Like, I got this music. And, oh, you're on fire. Sorry. There we go. Here I go. Was it you who pointed out that these carts don't have wheels? Because these ones certainly do not have wheels in the little wheel on music. Yeah, they have wheel. They have round things, but the, the, the but the round things don't appear to spin. They have like oh. wheel. But, oh, you're on fire. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I've taken it just announcing whenever you're on fire. Um, they. Bye guys. Double kill. Strike. Oh, like a dragon. Oh wait, that's the that's Din that's Din yep. roll, right? No, that's the light dragon, I think. Oh. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold what on. do we get? Mom's gone. Okay. Hello. Hang up. All right. I'm good. How are you? I'm going to take a look in his inventory and see all the crap he's got. Because he usually scrolls by itself quickly. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Like, okay, so we got bright bloom, seeds, spawn flowers, fire fruits. Ooh, improve blood flow and simulate muscles to raise attack power. That's fun. Um, blanket to blind any monsters. Gives off effect that strengthens muscles and increases pack attack power in cold temperatures. It's kind of cool to see like the descriptions they give on this stuff. The better power makes them inedible. That's fair. Mm. T this shockingly tasting fruit. <laughs> I do wonder what it must be like. How on earth did anybody figure out how to properly cook these things? Like who, like who figured out how to cook that you could actually cook a shock fruit and not like murder yourself? <laughs> the consumers' muscles and grants increased attack power during thunderstorms. Oh, that's cool. I also wonder how anybody figured that out. Like, who is the extremely adventurous chef who is cooking up these shock fruits after getting them from Like Likes, by the way, eating them, and then going off into a thunderstorm and seeing what happens, whether or not this is going to kill you, and how long it lasts. That's... That is both brave and a little crazy. Oh, big flower. Soldier construct horn, very sharp. Muddle bud, a wildflower with powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. I do wonder if this actually works on Hylians the same way it works on the monsters. Ooh, splash root. Cooking it brings out its ability to enhance swim speed when ingested. Cheese! <laughs> wonder what happens if you mix cheese with any of these other fruits. Like, <laughs> you get like a spicy fondue or something like that. <laughs> The team property. You increase your blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in tight, high temperatures. And boy, does it taste good in the meantime. Ooh, valued as a component in decorations and crafting. Okay. Corlock frog found a mysterious slip. What? I'm looking at your inventory and I'm talking about who. Look at this. I don't know. When cooked correctly about shock root, the shockingly tasting fruit stimulates the consumer's muscles and grants increased attack power during thunderstorms. Who in the world decided to experiment with these, like, look like angry looking lemons? To realize that, hey, you know what? If we play around with this enough, it will A, not kill us if we eat it, and B, increases our powers during thunderstorms, and C, it actually lasts for a certain amount of time. Who is the very stupidly adventurous gray chef? 
We figured that out. I do not know. I don't know either, so I've been having a little bit of fun. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to call just a little, a very, very quick um, intermission real quick, but we will be back in just a minute. Alrighty. We'll be back. Well, that's what's coming out of the top of the volcano. Uh, yep. Yeah, first things first, though, shrine. I'll do it. Maybe that's. Do you think that's gotta be? Do you think the gloom is a um, component in the marble rock roast? Wouldn't surprise me given the color. That is true. Although the gorons are not exactly sick the way that. Although, for what it's worth, the humans like the Hylians get sick when they eat it, but the gorons could have a different side effect. Could be. Oh, a controlling device. And Link doesn't seem to get sick if he touches it. Yeah. Oh look, a tutorial for using the steering stick that I already know how to use. But on the plus side, woo! No, there look. Sorry. Lava Roven. Sorry, it looked like it looked like the lava splashed on you enough to injure you. Nope. <laughs> I just realized this thing really stops on a dime. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yep. Backing up, backing yeah. up. I feel like the Sheikah and the Zona, I like. Lord, Lord, I wish they had a chance to spend more time. Like, ima imagine, like, Minaru getting to meet Kura. My god, that would be, like,. I, f I feel like it would be so cool, but also there would be people be like, Oh wait, we could not let you two spend enough time, like, spend a lot of time in alone together, or else you may actually figure out how to, like... I don't know, but just... The amount, like, the There's... sheer amount of, the sheer amount of, like... It's why you don't put Pinkie Pie and Deadpool in a room together. Well, in that case, you know, they break the laws of physics and reality. I think these two would be more likely to... Okay, they they would be they would be they would Excuse take, me. They'd take mad inventions to like an entirely new level. Pardon me. Which would be kind of cool. Which would be really cool, and you would just know that. The, ow! You just know the stuff it would uh, they would come up with would be really really good. But you also feel there's also a part of you that's just like maybe we shouldn't let you guys do this unsupervised. Yes. <laughs> you know, just to be on the safe side, let's um. Let's not. Let's not. Let's at least have, like, Rauru and or Sophia there. <laughs> Considering that Pura, like, what did she do? She tried, like, an ancient, like an anti-aging rune on herself, and that's why she became, like, a child. For the and entire I last game. Yeah, she... And then she got tired of no one taking her seriously, so she made herself back to a more reasonable age. <laughs> now she looks at you, now she looks at your age, even though she's, like, at least 100 years old. Yes. Do you realize just how many, like, people... Isn't it kind of... I feel like it's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, nope. no! It knocked me off. Damn it. <laughs> it's like we have to we have to go back. We're all, we're all excited. I was trying to think of what ingredient to ask to borrow next, because we already did the sugar. <laughs> and we made the cookies. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. May the light of blessing grant you the aid you seek. You realize just how many people are shown to be able to like live past, like well past a hundred. Like the Zoras are long lived, the Gorons are probably long lived, the Sheikah are long lived, which is fair because then like, because then like actually can come back in Breath of the Wild with people that he knows <laughs> and also know what happened to him. Yeah. All right, we're at the top. Oh, what does this sign say? Hello. Reminder for Hylian workers. 
The red surface that sprouts from cracks in the ground is called gloom. Avoid it at all costs. Coming into contact with gloom drains your vitality. If you touch it, get away from it immediately and rest. Resting in the fresh air of the surface is recommended. Okay, Speaking so... of which, it's not a lie. Yay. Also, hello. hello. You just ran away, bounced down from the sky again. Almost broke your neck. He you almost landed on yeah. you. Oh. Oh. Over there. What? What's up? What do you see, buddy? What do you see? Come Don't back! Just... Come back! It's this way. What's this way? Oh. Uh-oh. Well, first off, the blood moon. Oh, God. So we'll let that happen first. Okay. Just so we don't have to deal with... Oh, God. I'm just going to skip this if that's all right. Sure. All right, because we, we, we have dramatic um, Princess Zelda tracking to get back to. I mean, heck, you know, just find that hill she's standing on. You can go there. Can you just imagine, you know, this like this Zelda just is up at the top waiting for you and then quickly teleports herself over to the hill to say the whole thing about the blood moon and, and then, then teleports, teleports herself back. back? Yes, it's like, no, I need to be dramatic in both cutscenes. I think it was near here. Oh my God. When I came up the mountain, I saw her. The princess was standing right here, Goro. Oh my God. And then she... Gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um. Yeah, things got a little oh, hazy. Jeez, it's no use. I can't remember anything that happened after that. And maybe a little kinder for you, buddy. You were not very nice. <gasps> oh, oh, whoa! Careful, careful. Hang on. Ooh. Is that her? Do you see her? There she is. She was not there. There she either. is, princess. Princess Zelda, we need to talk to you. It's dangerous. Oh, this is so creepy in the middle oh. of the night. Oh my god. Okay, so she what just the? walked into an explosion of gloom. What the? Uh -oh. What the? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hello? You got a three-headed dragon popping up out of the volcano? Made of rock growth from what I gather? Yeah. Rises right. to the Death Mountain Crater, Moragia. Okay, so the rock for us does not become sentient. This is just going great, isn't it? <laughs> Explains why it's brainwashing people. Thing broke out of the crater like it was nothing. That one's looking at me. Oh, stop looking at me! Is that alive and there are three of those things? Those are heads? So that means there's more of the body? It's so big. How could the thing with that appear nowhere like that? Well, if it's just the head, it's possible... No, I was reading what he said. No, 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 I know. I'm thinking that maybe that's... Um, yeah. It was hiding underneath. If we don't take the thing out, who knows what will happen to Princess Zelda? Can't exactly charge it from down here. Any ideas, Link? Well, that's convenient! <laughs> Well, that is really convenient. Look at this thing. Look at his face. Oh, boy, it's really big. He, he had a little happy face off the yeah. right there. Yeah. All right. Come on, buddy. We're going to battle with my fighter jet. All right. Nothing like, yes. <laughs> 12, 1230 fight against some alive marble rock bros. This is normal, normal death mountain things. Hang on. Fire! Don't worry, we got you. Oh, Whoa. another Mario boss. Incoming. incoming, yeah. Hang on, hang on. No, I think that's the incoming. They're literally spitting flaming rocks at me. Yeah. I got shot. Fire! No. Oh. Ooh, careful. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! It hit. But I'm okay. Yes. Damn, these zone edge devices really are durable. Ah, gosh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, you're okay. You're not injured. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Short boss fight, but very fun. Yeah. Do you get to keep onto the flyer? Do you just get to fly down into the crater? That would be nice. All right. Well, you broke it. 
Not my fault. Absolutely your fault. I mean, look, you had to break it because you had to kill the monster. Fair. But you killed the monster and then it broke. <sighs> At least you killed the monster's heads. Who knows what happened next? Oh, oh God. Look at the gloom yeah, blooms. Yeah. What was that thing anyway? Yeah, look at oh, that. That's nasty. I thought she walked off somewhere around here. Yeah, where did she go? You don't just throw some phones in a hole, do you? What if the dear lord, what if the monster ate her? That'd be awful. Come on, Link, let's hurry down there. Link him with his hand on his hip. <laughs> Link. Princess Zelda, don't you worry, we're coming! Oh, he's grown so much from being afraid of everything in the last game. Yeah, oh, you were right, there is a bunch of gloom down here. Well, yeah, you can see the, the mm -hmm. plumes and he pointed it out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Lots of lava rocks down here, too. Well, I mean, that makes sense. You're actively going into a volcano. Why yes. would there not be lava rocks around? Yeah, okay. Let's drop some seeds. Oh see where we're going. You... Oh, look, they stick on it and they don't burn. Well, that's nice. I mean, Oh, I... I can actually see a bit down here because of all the fire. That's actually not terribly surprising considering you found so many of them. Yep, I got a pool of lava. Oh, Lord. While you were in the fiery caves. That's fair. Oh, look, you're landing right next door, Ruth. Ain't that nice? Well, there was a shrine not too, um, not too far, far from, from where we were, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 